Now, at Kenneth Hammersley, Lincoln Mercury, Lynchburg. The Virginia Lottery Report is brought to you as a public service of WJPR Fox 21. Your clear choice in Roanoke is WJPR Fox 21. kinds of messed up kids today. They're rampant drug abusers, violent gang members, and, and some crazy sex offenders. So you kind of think that kids who devoted their lives to preaching God's word will be looked upon as heroes. With the rise of anti-religious thought and atheistic nonsense in this country, child preachers have been ridiculed, badgered, suspended from school like lepers. Tonight, we're going to meet some young preachers. We're going to meet a young preacher's father who have touched off a storm of controversy, plus those who think child preachers are abused, and their parents a little deluded. It's God's army of youth versus the heathens. Join us. Let me introduce, let me introduce home base and of course our uh, loud mouth. We've got uh, Duffy Strode, who is a young street preacher. Duff, how you doing? Mm -hmm. All right, pal. We've got uh, David Strode, who is uh, also a street preacher from North Carolina, I believe. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. And at our loud mouth, we have Dan Barker, the Freedom from Religion Foundation, also a former team preacher. Right? That's right. Let me start off with Duff. Doc, you found God in a very, very special and personal way. Now, do you consider yourself to be a normal, well-adjusted young man? Yeah. Get along with other kids? Not that much. Play football? Yeah. Go to the movies? No. Dance? No. Like girls? No. Wait a second. How old are you, Doc? Eleven. Wait a second, guys. How many of you guys at eleven like girls, huh? I mean, besides me. Yeah. So I don't think, Duff, you're not all wrong. This will change a little bit when you're about fourteen. Thirteen. Well, as soon as this show's over. Uh, why don't you have kids as friends? Well, I do have a few. You do have a couple. Mm -hmm. You have a couple good friends. Yeah. Are they preachers, too? No. Let me turn to Dan out there uh, for just a second. Dan, as an atheist, you believe religiously in nothing, actually. But I understand you oppose child preachers. Now, how can you oppose a kid like this who reads the Bible and preaches the gospel? You're probably, uh, I guess, something. I mean, you were a child preacher yourself. Well, religion is a form of addiction. We should just say no to religion also. But I don't oppose his rights to worship and believe as he wants. What I oppose is him using the school systems to push his religion on other kids. That's what is wrong. It's very so American. we take religion totally out of schools, right? Except for perhaps a comparative religion class. But this is, it's very American for there to be people like Duffy. I used to preach on the streets, and I was proud of it. But it's very un-American well, to try to use What got you out of preaching system. in the streets? Well, I gradually, I grew up, I learned there's no Santa Claus, and I learned that there's no God, and I can't I, continue to preach. How did you learn there was no God? Uh -huh. That's all right, wait a second. Wait a second.